Hi, I'm Pastor Victoria from Carlson Memorial United Methodist Church, and this is Pastor on the Porch. Remy is right next to me. Hi, Ram. Cody's inside. I'm having a drink of water. It's hot today on the porch. But today I thought we'd look at a piece of music called My Prayer for You. my prayer for you. It's a beautiful song. It has some wonderful words. I was thinking as I've heard this song several times that we could look at it in two ways. One is my prayer for you, for people I know and love and care about. And also maybe we could even turn it around because some of the words are also God's prayer for us. 
the my prayer for you where it's people praying for people who are loved i love some of the words fighting off the lie that no one cares feeling you're forsaken and alone may god give you eyes to see he's still greater and then the words that maybe can we can turn and have god speaking to us for all of you with tired and weary souls but still have faith to ask for miracles, choosing to believe I am in control. Prayer is an interesting thing. We often get intimidated by it. Sometimes we feel we're inadequate to the task. We don't know what to say. We don't know how to say it. And so we have discussions about <clears throat> how to pray and when to pray and what to say when we pray and where to put our arms and whether to stand or sit. Prayer is a relationship. It's a conversation with us, with God, with one another. Even if we're alone, God is with us. So we're having this conversation, this chat. So I always think you should sit where you are most comfortable when you pray. If you're more comfortable standing, stand up. I had a friend who used to pray gardening because that was a time when it was quiet and peaceful. Um, some people like to walk when they pray. Some people pray in the shower. Some people pray in the car as they're sitting at a stoplight. Don't close your eyes. Prayer is as individual as we are, and we're going to do it in an individual way, but it's all doing a similar thing. We are having a conversation with God about what's happening, our relationship with God and with Jesus Christ how we are doing, what we are doing, where we are struggling. And this is such a beautiful song, my prayer for you, because it continually goes back to, may God give you eyes to see God is still greater. Courage, and, courage to rise and believe God is able. That's really what prayer is about. It's recognizing that we have eyes to see that things are beyond us, that there are things going on that are greater than we are. God is bigger than we are. And the courage to believe that God is, like we said last time on the porch, God is always with us. So how do we pray? We pray in a way that is most comfortable for us. We speak in words that are honest and sincere. And if we pray for one another, we join together, whether we're in person or online or on the phone or in a text. And we just speak words of comfort and compassion to one another in prayer. And we ask God to help us. Sometimes prayer is a struggle and sometimes we don't have the words to say. And then the Holy Spirit picks up our voice and speaks for us. What a wonderful thing that we have to be people of prayer together. So let's pray. Loving God, we thank you that we are able to pray for each other wherever we find ourselves, in home, in car, in the garden, on a walk, in a church, in an office, at lunch, Anywhere we find ourselves can be a place of prayer, a sacred place, a place of worship and compassion. And so we thank you that we are able to pray together as a community and lift one another up. That is my prayer for you.